Hi everyone. Uh, we have this simple uh, database exercise which is uh, related with the uh, 2019 UK election. Uh, so, uh, in order to work on this database, uh, it is uh, about the 2019 UK elections uh, London data. Yeah, uh, the database uh, uh, has all the information for. Uh, UK candidates, so we can find it from this and this website. So if I copy this this address, you could type it, uh, and go online. I will be able to download it, and so it depends on which class. You know, most you know the my entry 3 and level 1 classes directly download the actual database right click on it and download and you download it to a folder it goes to the download folder you go there and copy and paste it to the folder where you want to work inside and uh, if I open this database then I can do all the required activities in it if uh, open it and first thing to do is check the structure of the database okay uh, candidate 255 that's too long too big it makes the database uh, bigger than it's necessary so candidates the name uh, cannot be more than 25 Okay, let's make it 30. Some of them may have dodgy names. Uh, party, okay, if it's a very massive name, 40. Constituency, maybe not lo bigger than 30. Incumbent, incumbent is uh, it's a yes no field, so uh, we'll change it to yes no. Yeah. Uh, and number of votes uh, is meant to be a uh, number okay so you change it into correct let's see okay so uh, it is like this at the moment okay so let's see if we can do all the tasks we have to create a quer queries so to create a query the first query we have to do we have to create is create a query to display the party members from the conservative party all right so uh, we will find all the party members including Boris Johnson using queries all right let's search for them create and query design add the table and we need to add all the fields so click on here and drag down the all the fields so we want the party members from conservatives very important to know the data so how it's written this is how it's written it should co look at that you know some are written as conservative and some are written as conservative parties so uh, uh, the trick is hopefully if we put it like this And with so anything like conservative, all right. Uh, but some of the conservatives could be written in small letters, maybe, or or conservative. Let me see. Asterisk. Okay. So it will include all of those right and uh, uh, file save us save object as we are saving the object and conservative click ok uh, run it and we see all the leaders including Boris Johnson Boris Johnson is here the man himself the man of Brexit no comment about Brexit. 
Some of us like it, some of us don't. It's like my mites. Okay. Uh, then the next query is to create a query to show the party members from the Labour Party in London. Okay. So it's very similar. It's, it's a good practice for queries for my entry 3 level class. I have. Okay. So cre create query design. And same way, add all the fields and uh, anything like labor. All right, labor. So we'll put the query. like okay so labor and in the next video I'll show you how to do the reports perhaps let me show you how to do the reports uh, here so that it's all done uh, create a report wizard from the query for example for labor we choose all the fields and next and next and in ascending order of uh, candidates and next landscape justified or oh, no portrait is better maybe uh, we could exp next and level party report and finish and we have done the report we can customize it uh, but this is how the uh, report is uh, done uh, so you will you need to do the rest of the exercise I'm not going to do everything for you uh, in you know simple queries and reports just trying to make it relevant with the uh, 2019 UK election